Hi, welcome back. I'm just going to go out and pick this lawnmower up. I've actually won this Briggs and Stratton mower for £33.52. It's around um, 10 miles from my house. I put actually put £46 in for this and got this for £33. I'm going to go and pay for this. I wanted cash for it, unfortunately. So, once again, as I've got a mower to pick up, it's uh, it's raining once again. So, I'm going to go get some cash out. I'm going to go give them £33.52 for this lawnmower. It's just another classic case of uh, another mower that's... Uh, Potentially cosmetically really good looking and it's just saying uh, it's just not running right. It's running lumpy So it probably just wants the carb doing the diaphragm and gasket So this will be more two as I said in the previous video. I've got more one here. This little to come say I want to go up to uh, about a 10 mile trip take the mobile out my new one that I've got and We'll go pick up another lawnmower. We'll start uh, bringing these in here stacking these Ready to make a profit to pay for our holidays next summer as you can see here, I'm just in the, uh, this is the new mobile by the way, if you haven't seen the previous video, I've actually got the other one written off, someone ran in the side of it. So, um, anyway, I used to have a couple of adjustable spanners in here. I just used to keep them in the glove box in this, uh, the Fiesta I had. mobile Mark 1, if you will. And, um, I can't find them at the minute, so I've just put some, uh, I always put some uh, spanners in with you, just in case you can't get the handle off, so I don't want to have to take out car seats out. It's got a bigger boot in this, I can sometimes get them in. I've got car seats in for the kids in the back. Just take yourself a few uh, spanners, because if you can't get it folded down, you can't get it home. So I'm going to go get some cash out, and we'll uh, we'll go pick this mower up. So I'm here now, it's absolutely pouring down, as like I said, I've got these tools. This is why I bring these tools, because, just look at these here. I can't get this in the car. I mean, I've got the car seats in. I could have folded it down. All the handles stuck up. And I can't get them off without any tools. So make sure if you're going to go and pick one up, make sure you take these spanners. I'm going to slacken that off, fold it up, and we'll put it in this boot here. So eventually, with the use of these spanners, I've actually got this in the boot. As you can see, it takes up more space than you think if you're not going to fold the seats down. So a little tip for anyone who's got two car seats in the back for the kids. Don't not take any spanners because you won't get it in. You think you can move these car seats in the back, but you've never got room. It's... Uh, takes up more space than you think so just bring yourself some tools right so I made it back it's got the uh, grass boxes over there this is actually in quite cosmetically in uh, good condition no rust just wants a bit of grass clearing off it I thought uh, before I start it up I'll uh, just put this cam on the tripod a minute and we'll try this and see what we get but uh, see I've got to put these bolts back on the handle all cables look good things I'm looking for pull cords been replaced at some point as well so that saved me a job looks like the plug wants renewing I mean you know, could be running okay, the plug could be okay, but I'll change that. Let's have a quick look underneath as well. I'll see if I can turn this over. Just put my coat cart on here. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look underneath, make sure the blade, yeah, the blade's on the blade, boss, quite. Yeah, you see that there, the two pins through there. They're actually on right, I like to see that as well. It means it hasn't been smashed. The blade don't, don't look like it's uh, too badly worn either. Although we'll sharpen that up, clean a bit of this... Uh, mess up underneath, no drive on this one just a simple one and my guess is it's just going to want this car for servicing up just wants a diaphragm and gasket changes so I'll put this camera on the tripod and we'll try and uh, fire this up see what sort of state this fuel's in in here not so bad try it, let's try it other things I usually check for make sure there's no hole in this primer bulb there's any splits in there, it won't run right either it's running lumpy. Another big telltale sign is most people uh, take this air filter box off and if you see one for sale with this point in the front you know they've been in a mess with the cab. Also make sure that this uh, spark plug ignition lead is through this notch here. If you see it trapped in there they've obviously had the cover off as well. Just little things I like to look for. So let's uh, let's start this up. Right so let's have a go at firing this up. Press this primer. The actual uh, handle feels okay as well. I'm just looking at the back here where it releases the brake. That's all working all right.
right up to full speed. I could leave it running a bit, but I don't think it'll get a lot better. There's a couple of things I just want to look at first. I'm just going to firstly just take this air filter cover off here. Just take this off. I'm trying to make sure all these springs are moving correctly. You never know if someone's had it apart. What I'm looking for here, and I'm actually looking for this here to make sure these springs are all moving. Sometimes if someone's had it apart and put it back together, you find that they're all clunky and they stick and move and it should really bounce like that. And what a lot of people do, if it's not running quite right, you see this tab here just to speed it up a bit, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to try and bend that over a little bit, try and speed this up a little bit, see if it runs any better. I'm still going to service it up, but I've had people who've sold them as running okay and all I've really done is bent that tab over just to get it to run okay for a few minutes. So let's bend that tab over. And let's fire it up and just see how it runs. Let's see how it runs then now we've just fired that, uh, bent that tab over up. We'll just fire this up. It's just not running at full speed, it's, uh, it's running uh, lumpy exactly as I described. So, before I'm going to change this, I'm going to change the, uh, I'm going to change the plug. I'm uh, sort of 9 out of 10 sure, really 90% sure that this is the uh, diaphragm and gasket, but I will just change the plug. I don't want to do any jobs that I don't need to do. I'll just quickly swap this over. Can't see it being this, but I'm going to change it anyway, so I might as well do it now. Looks like it's been in since new this, so it might not come out very easy this plug. I'll try it. That's it. Yeah, it's pretty black that to be honest, it looks a bit of a mess. What you find sometimes if you swap the, the spark plug is you can it can run better for a minute or so and you think you've solved the problem, but after a couple of minutes as the fuel starts going through and it starts warming up, you'll find out that it ain't the plug after all, it's just helping. It's not actually solving the problem, so I'll try it again. Yeah, so I've got the, uh, the same issue, there's a fair bit of vibration. A lot of people send me emails saying, why is it vibrating so much? And often, you know, people think it's the key way that's, you know, not right in the bottom and it's been bashed, the blade's been bent. Sometimes you can get a fair bit of vibration just because the, uh, the mower's not running right and it's trying to catch up on itself. So if you've got a bit of vibration, it's normally just because it's not quite running right. But as you can probably see, it's just starting to rain again, as it always typically does when you're just trying to get on with something. So... I'm going to take this in the garage now. I'm going to, actually, I'll just wash it off and get this extra grass off it. I'm going to take it in the garage, leave it dry out, and then we'll uh, service this car up. So this can be mower too. This is another one in the video series of, uh, you know, saving some money up towards my summer holiday next year. So this is a Champion 41 centimetre, three and a half horsepower, with a Briggs and Stratton 35 classic engine. This can be, let's call this one mower number two. Nice, simple push mower, this one. I've got this in the uh, carriage, it's great is this, and I'm not keep going on about this door, but it's great because if I actually decide to do this gasket this afternoon, I can just wheel it out here and try it, I've not got to start moving my cars about outside, so that's good. But just uh, another little thing I wanted to mention is, I've still got this blade to sharpen on, this other to come say from the, uh, the previous video. Now I never start another mower until I finish one off if I can help it, unless it's taking me far too much time, but um, before I do any other repairs, I just basically cleaned that other one off and brought it in and tested it. I like to put this other one back together, so I'll sharpen this blade up for this to come to and put that back on. And then that's done, and I'll uh, take the uh, carburetor off this Briggs one, and we'll see what we can make of that one. Just a note on that, that's how I actually uh, got started on doing these mowers a few years ago now. I actually had a mower, same as this one here, this SP470. I actually sold my original one, just basically because I got a cheap one to make some profit. But anyway... I basically got started on these mowers. I had a mower, as I say, it was the same as this, but it was in really good condition. And um, I only had a little bit of grass to cut. And I'm, you know, I like probably like a lot of people watching these videos, you sort of start it and you know it's going to like last two minutes and you go running up and down your grass trying to get it done in the shortest space of time possible. But this, uh, this little uh, 
carburetor here and this diaphragm and gasket I'm going to change in here was actually how I got started just watching uh, various videos on YouTube a few years ago and I've actually made more money just from changing this diaphragm and gasket in these carbs on mowers than anything else it's such a such a quick simple repair and it's really simple anybody can do this even if you're just going to start and uh, repair these for profit and get this type of mower this carburetor set up and the uh, the petrol tank you'll still make yourself a small fortune just by learning that one repair um, that is uh, that is one of the best videos that's on the repairing lawnmowers for profit video it's a really detailed video I mean there's lots on YouTube of how to do this but it's a really detailed up close video on the uh, repairing lawnmowers for profit DVD that I've done of that to make sure that you can just avoid any mistakes that a lot of people make so if you want to get started you don't need to know about these bowl type carburetors and intercumbers or anything you can just pick yourself one of these simple you know push mowers up with a Briggs and Stratton classic engine on this is a type of lawnmower that you want to get started on if you've never done one before because it's uh, dead easy to work on dead easy to get in find parts for and um, you know if you post any questions below the video someone will always help you out and if I get a chance I will get back to you. Turn this off again. Oh dear me. Anyway, um, I've got my eye on a few more of these as well. I just want to show you these other ones I'm going to uh, hopefully get, as you can see, here eventually. Same mower that I've got behind me, a Mountainfield SP470, as I've said in loads of previous videos, one of my favourites. This is only at £10 at the minute, with nine hours to go. I'm hoping to get that for £20, £30. There's one below it as well. As I say, I've just paid £33 for this one I've just picked up. Um, hopefully I'll get that one as well, I'm not sure if it'll open up, but uh, look at the price of that. I mean, it's only £10, I've put 66 quid in here. Because this has got a drive on, and it's got a box, and I know these sell for quite a lot of money, I regularly make £125 on these. So if I can get it for 60 you know, do some repairs and make myself £50 after fees, I'm more than happy with that. It's just the same more as I've said I've got down here as well. So keep your eye out for those. Anything with a little Briggs and Stratton uh, engine on and that carb, just keep looking on eBay nearest first and get yourself started. So I'm going to go in now, get myself some dinner. Hopefully this afternoon, this weather will uh, brighten up a bit and dry out a bit. We can come out and do some more work on these ones. So I've sharpened the blade on the Tecumseh one. I've just got it in front of me now. I'm going to stick that back on and that's done. £26 lawnmower. I'm hoping to get nearly £100 for maybe a bit more next spring. And I've got this... Uh, champion one behind me which I'm going to do the carb on this afternoon that's two in uh, two days I've got another one I've got my eye on on eBay as well I'm hopefully going to win and I'm going to start mounting these up now there's nothing to stop anybody watching these videos doing exactly the same thing all I'm doing is uh, looking on eBay nearest first for used or parts or not working lawnmowers checking out what they've got make sure they've got no holes in or anything like that you don't want anything with any holes in the deck make sure the cables aren't snapped if you can help it as well start with something really basic get yourself something going and just get yourself some extra, extra money coming in and start saving for next year you know I don't know any other sort of bank that you're going to put £26 in and you know get £70 out of in March April time next year this is the best way I've found of uh, making myself some uh, some extra income and there's nothing to stop you getting started as well so hopefully this afternoon as I said I'll start and I'll uh, strip this carburetor down it'll take me no more than 10 minutes to do and uh, I'm pretty sure that when I fire it up it should run absolutely perfect and that'll be a £33 lawnmower that hopefully I'll sell for somewhere between £60 and £80 maybe a little bit more when uh, demand is high next year so um, just for now I'll just stop this video and I'll film another one this afternoon but thanks for watching don't forget to check out the website repairandlawnmowersforprofit.com um, big apologies to loads of people who send me emails I just do not have the time to reply to them all I'm hoping you've got your problems solved and I've done as much as I can to help as many people out as I can but uh, I only have so much time unfortunately but thank you very much for watching subscribing and uh, please if you're on uh, YouTube please share the videos or Google Plus it really does help me quite a lot and I'll see you shortly when we uh, take a look at this carburetor thanks for watching